Today on the table, I've got a Huawei 4G router, 3 Prime, which supports LTE, wireless 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and as you can see, apparently up to 64 users. But I'm not going to be referring to the Huawei via that. I'm just going to call it the B818, going by the number or model number on this sticker right here. So what do we get inside the box? Usual greeting cards, quick setup, so quick I'll ignore it. Inside here, we have the power lead and a flat Ethernet cable, which I don't think I'll be using at this point. Power cable itself has a little bit of weight to it. Now if I can get the right angle on it, we should be able to see what amperage it is, 12 volt, 2 amp, all fairly standard stuff. Now onto the device itself, once I clear a little bit of space, my first initial impressions of it, it feels very much like a smart device, like a Google Home or yeah, a mesh network style of device, which this one I believe is capable of. So it does stand fairly tall. Let's bust out the measuring tape and have a quick look. And the width of it is 4 inches or 10 centimeters. And the depth of it's the same. Now let's check out the height. Make a little bit more room and zoom out of the camera. Actually, while we're at it, we'll check out what's in the front here. So various LED lights, signal strength, power status, LAN, Wi Fi mode. All stuff I'm mostly going to ignore. And then on the back here, we've got hmm, a few little extra ports. Curious to see what's behind this little flap here. And bingo, we have external antenna jacks. Two of them. Along with the power button right beside it. And on the bottom, we just have a bit more information. And the SD slot. Or oh, sorry, SIM card slot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a quick run through the setup procedure of this. Have a quick overview of the menus. And then I'm going to set it up for my Google Home at home. Ah, and here we go. This stands 22 centimeters tall, this particular one. So a reasonably tall device. Now let's go to the menu and check that out. Here we go. All fairly standard. As you can see, this one's from Optus, which is what I'm currently using at home. Fairly standard user agreement. Do overnight updates. Sure, why not? All fairly standard stuff right here. I just want to get into the main body of it. The password of admin won't work, so I'll have to go for the password of password. Here we go. Now let's check this out. What do we have? The network settings, all fairly standard. Now I can't really imagine too many cases where you'd be using this as a router as opposed to just a modem. Yeah, 5 gigahertz. So what I'll do is just quickly uh, run through all the various menus here. The short of it is I'm slightly disappointed it doesn't have IP pass-through, which is what I was wanting to be able to use on a Nighthawk M1. So that is a tad disappointing. But anyway, you get on with it. But for most people, this will do perfectly fine. So I'm going to stop talking for a second here, and I'll be back in just a moment.
So what I'm going to load up now is just a couple of speed tests that I've done. And then I'll go over the settings that I used on the modem when I had it connected to my Google Nest Wi-Fi at home. So to begin with, I'll just do some speed tests. Granted, these tests will be different in your location, depending on your service and coverage. But overall, I was pretty happy with the results. So these tests, or this test right now, was done at around 8 p.m. on a Thursday night. So I'm not sure if that would normally be peak hour for internet. I'm assuming between probably 3.30 and 7 o'clock would probably be the peak hour. But as you can see, the download speed has been pretty darn good, which is mainly one of the reasons why I ended up leaving MBN, purely because my internet speed was around about 220 megabits slower than this at best. So what I'll do now is I'll quickly load up a speed test on my mobile. This is just using a Xiaomi Mi 9T running Mi UI 11 and this is connecting up via 5 gigahertz to my Google Nest Wi-Fi. As you can see it's coming back to a fairly similar speed to the laptop being connected to the same Wi-Fi network. This was also done around about the same time. So coming up now is running the same test on the same network with the same phone. This was done at 8 o'clock in the morning, just today. As you see, it's coming in at a considerably slower rate. So I'm not sure if it's also coming down to either positioning of, my, uh, of the Huawei modem router, or if it's more so congestion on this particular tower. But overall, I'm still extremely happy with how fast this has been performing, definitely compared to my old MBN. So coming up next, I'm purely going over the settings that I've adjusted to make it connect up to my Google Nest Wi-Fi at home, trying to reduce the amount of NATs that it's going through. So these are the settings that I've done. From here on, I'm just going to let the video play out, and I'll catch you later. Well, before I go, basically turned off Wi-Fi on both the, or both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz on the Optus Huawei modem, and then also disabled the firewall from there. Anyway, I'll catch you and see you in the next video. Bye.